Earth has an invisible shield. You can't see it, you can't touch it, but without it, life as we know it would not exist. Every second, the sun hurls billions of tons of charged particles into space at blistering speeds. This stream of radiation, called the solar wind, slams into every planet it encounters. Mars, once warm and wet, lost its atmosphere because it lacked a strong magnetic field. Today, it is dry and cold, stripped bare by the sun. But Earth is different. For billions of years, our magnetic field has deflected the solar wind, keeping our atmosphere safe and our planet habitable. Yet this field isn't fixed, it drifts, it weakens, and sometimes it flips. Scientists now say Earth's magnetic field is shifting faster than ever recorded. Could we be headed for another reversal? And if so, what would that mean for our planet, our technology, and us? Welcome to Skyward Space Quest. Today we ask, what happens if Earth's magnetic field flips? To understand what's at stake, we first need to understand what Earth's magnetic field really is. At the center of our planet lies the core. The inner core is a solid ball of iron and nickel as hot as the surface of the sun. Surrounding it is the outer core, a vast ocean of molten, electrically conductive iron. As this liquid metal swirls and churns, it generates electric currents, and those currents create a magnetic field. This process, known as the geodynamo, turns Earth into a colossal magnet with a north and south pole. From those poles, magnetic field lines arc outward into space, forming a shield called the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere stretches tens of thousands of kilometers into space on the day side and trails into a long magnetic tail on the night side. To the solar wind, Earth isn't just a planet. It's an obstacle wrapped in magnetic armor. Without this field, the solar wind would strip away Earth's atmosphere over millions of years. Ultraviolet and cosmic radiation would bombard the surface. Life as we know it might never have evolved. But the field isn't just a shield. It also guides us. Compasses align with it, pointing north. Animals, from birds and whales to turtles, navigate using it. Satellites orbit within it, shielded from radiation. It is woven into the fabric of our lives. And yet, it is far from stable. In the year 1600, English scientist William Gilbert published De Magnet. In it, he proposed something radical, that Earth itself is a giant magnet. His idea was ridiculed at first, but centuries later, it became the foundation of modern geophysics. Today, we know Gilbert was right, but the magnet is far stranger and more unpredictable than he ever imagined. For centuries, navigators noticed something odd. The direction of magnetic north wasn't constant. Compasses drifted over time. In the past hundred years, that drift has accelerated. The magnetic north pole, once anchored in northern Canada, has been racing towards Siberia at nearly 40 miles per year. At the same time, satellites and ground stations have measured a steady weakening of the field, about 10% over the last 150 years. One region is particularly concerning, the South Atlantic Anomaly. Stretching across South America and the Southern Atlantic Ocean, this area has an unusually weak magnetic field. Here, the inner Van Allen radiation belt dips closest to Earth, exposing satellites to higher levels of radiation. Spacecraft passing through the anomaly often experience glitches, and some instruments are shut down preemptively to avoid damage. The European Space Agency's Swarm satellites, launched in 2013, have mapped these changes in detail. Their data reveal a dynamic, shifting magnetic field, weakening in some areas, strengthening in others, and showing signs of instability. Is this just normal fluctuation or the beginning of a full reversal? History gives us the answer. Over the last four billion years, Earth's magnetic field has actually flipped hundreds of times. North becomes south, and well, south becomes north. But how do we know this? The answer, interestingly enough, is written in stone. When lava erupts from volcanoes and cools, 
The iron-rich minerals inside sort of align themselves with the current magnetic field. Once locked in place, these minerals become permanent records of the field's direction at that moment. By studying these rocks, scientists have pieced together a timeline of reversals. Some lasting thousands of years, others much, much shorter. On average, these reversals happen every 200,000 to 300,000 years. But the timing is, you know, quite irregular. Sometimes Earth goes millions of years without a flip. The last full reversal happened about 780,000 years ago. It's known as the Brunis Matuyama reversal, named after the scientists who first identified it. Since then, Earth has experienced smaller magnetic excursions. These are short-lived reversals that lasted only centuries. One of the most famous was the Le Champ event, which occurred about 41,000 years ago. During this event, the field weakened to just 5% of its normal strength. For roughly 1,000 years, the poles reversed and then, quite remarkably, flipped back. Early humans and Neanderthals actually lived through this event. They would have seen spectacular auroras far south of the Arctic. Recent studies suggest radiation levels on the surface increased dramatically at that time. Some scientists even wonder if it may have influenced human migration or climate shifts. The key takeaway here, reversals are natural. They happen often. And Earth and life always survives them. But in the modern world, the risks are, well, a bit different. So, when a reversal begins, the magnetic field weakens. It doesn't vanish entirely, but it can drop to just 10% of its current strength. Instead of a single north and south pole, the field might splinter into multiple poles scattered all across the planet. Compasses would spin and wander sometimes even pointing south instead of north. The auroras, which are usually confined to high latitudes, could actually appear worldwide. Cities near the equator might see glowing curtains of light in the sky. But, as beautiful as that sounds, beauty comes with risk. A weaker field means more radiation reaches Earth's atmosphere. Satellites and astronauts would face greater exposure. Power grids become more vulnerable to solar storms. Radiation at airplane altitudes increases, especially over the poles. For wildlife, the disruption could be quite profound. Birds, turtles, whales, even bees, all rely on Earth's magnetic field for navigation. During a reversal, their natural compasses could fail, leading to mass disorientation. Importantly, the field never disappears completely. Earth is not left bare. But during the transition, life and technology would, well, face some real challenges. So, would a reversal be dangerous to us? For human health, the risks are, well, modest. Our atmosphere still blocks most harmful radiation. On the surface, we would be safe. The real threat is to our technology. Satellites orbiting above the atmosphere would take the brunt of increased radiation. Solar panels could degrade. Electronics could glitch. Communication systems could falter. On Earth, power grids are the weak link. In 1989, a powerful solar storm induced currents in electrical lines, collapsing the Quebec power grid and plunging millions into darkness. That was with our current stable field. During a weakened field, such storms could cause widespread blackouts. Navigation would also suffer. GPS satellites rely on precise signals. Compasses would be unreliable. Airplanes traveling polar routes might face radiation concerns and communication blackouts. In short, humanity would adapt, but at a cost. Our reliance on technology makes us more vulnerable than any species before us. Are we on the verge of a reversal? The evidence is, hmm, intriguing. The magnetic North Pole is racing towards Siberia. The South Atlantic anomaly is growing. The field has weakened by about 10% in the last century and a half. But scientists caution reversals take thousands of years. Even if one began today, it would unfold slowly. The poles would wander. The field would weaken. But it wouldn't be a sudden catastrophe. Still, we may be overdue. The last reversal was 780,000 years ago, more than double the average gap. Whether we are entering a new flip 
or just experiencing a temporary wobble remains unknown. What we do know is that Earth's field is dynamic. It is always shifting, always changing, reminding us that our planet is alive from the core outward. So what can we do? Space agencies are already preparing. Satellites are designed with radiation-hardened electronics. Operators plan routes to avoid the worst of the South Atlantic anomaly. Power companies study ways to protect grids from geomagnetic storms. Scientists continue to map the field with satellites like Swarm and ground observatories, building predictive models. We cannot stop a reversal, but with preparation we can live through it, just as humans and animals have before. The difference now is our technology, fragile, interconnected and utterly dependent on a stable environment. The question isn't whether Earth will flip again, it will. The question is when and whether we'll be ready. The Earth's magnetic field is our invisible protector, a shield that has guarded our planet for billions of years. It has flipped before and it will flip again. For life on Earth, these reversals are survivable. For modern civilization, they are a challenge we must prepare for. The next time you see an aurora glowing across the sky, remember it is the visible reminder of an invisible shield. A shield that shifts, weakens and flips, but always endures. This is Skyward Space Quest. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and join us next time as we continue our journey through the cosmos.